If you're one of those people that's asking, how do I hire a jewelry appraiser? This video is definitely for you. Hi, I'm Nicole and you know me as Jewelry Nerd. I am a jewelry appraiser. So you came to the right place, lucky you. So I am going to show you everything that you need in this video about how to hire the right jewelry appraiser for you. First things first, and this is gonna seem like a really silly thing, but you have to hire a jewelry appraiser. Not all appraisers appraise jewelry. A lot of appraisers appraise things like farm equipment or baseball cards or, I don't know, shoes or, you know, art or whatever. And uh, that's cool, but if you have a diamond ring, you need to make sure that you have somebody who actually knows that it's a diamond, right? So you need a jewelry appraiser. Not everybody is going to be a jewelry appraiser. So that's the first thing, hire a jewelry appraiser. One of the ways that you can hire a jewelry appraiser and be assured that it's a jewelry appraiser is to contact the National Association of Jewelry Appraisers or NAJA, the National Association of Jewelry Appraisers. That way you are assured that you're getting a jewelry appraiser and not somebody who appraises farm equipment. If you go to the NAJA website, there will be a little search button where you can put in your zip code and find an appraiser near you. That's step number one, hire an actual jewelry appraiser. Be assured that you're getting a jewelry appraiser by going to the National Association of Jewelry Appraisers. Step number two, get an actual gemologist. It seems like that would go without saying, but it does not. There are no regulations in the United States about who can be an appraiser and who doesn't get to be one. So anybody can be a appraiser for anything, whether you know it or not. So step number two is you have to be an actual gemologist. Now, not everybody who is a member of NAJA is an actual gemologist. So you need to ask that. There is a huge difference between a natural sapphire and a synthetic sapphire. And whoever it is that you hire needs to be able to know the difference so they can correctly value what it is that you have. So that's step number two. You have to have an actual gemologist. Just ask. They'll tell you. If they're not a gemologist, it won't be GG or FGA aside beside their name. Step number three, what you have makes a difference. If you have antique jewelry, not everybody is capable of appraising it because they don't necessarily work with it. Just about everybody's gonna be able to appraise your engagement ring, but if you have specialty items, like something from the 1700s, for instance, does the person that you hire routinely have experience appraising things from the 1700s? That's going to be a huge qualifier for whether you should hire this person as opposed to a different person. How do you hire anybody? If your cousin just redid her kitchen, you're probably going to ask your cousin, hey, who did you have do your kitchen? It looks awesome. Ask your friends, ask your neighbors, ask people in a jewelry store. So Get references just like you do with every other thing. So that's another tip for you is just get references. And if you need some helpful hints and you want it written down, all you have to do is go to the link that's underneath of this video and I have all of these steps written down for you so you don't have to watch this video 155 times and write everything down yourself. So that was it. Pretty simple, right? It didn't take a whole lot. You just have to ask a couple of basic questions that would seem like common knowledge, but aren't. And if you ask those questions to whoever it is that you're talking to, you should be able to narrow down quickly who can do what you need them to do and who can't. All right, thanks everybody. I'm Jewelry Nerd. Thanks for hanging out with me here. If you liked this video, smash that like button behind underneath this video and remember to subscribe so you get all the jewelry goodness that we talk about all on this channel. And if this was something that you think is going to be helpful to somebody that you know, please share it with them.
Thanks so much, and I will see you next time.